Welcome to another episode of the True Crime Tales. Today's episode is called The Romance Scandal. Regina, who just turned 24, came from an impoverished section of Manila, Philippines. There she was the middle child of six siblings. The family had moved to the city after the decision to make a go at a better life for them. They were doing good as a family and the kids were working along with the parents in a restaurant. They were all having a good life until a new, bigger restaurant chain moved in down the street. They had some good regular customers, but that was not enough for them to survive on and keep the doors open. During this time, they slowly started to use their savings and soon that too was all gone Regina knew at this time she had to go out and look for outside work to help the family until they got back on their feet. The fab of the new business soon wore off and the people started to end up coming back to their resident. Their business was slow to get to the level that it was before Regina still needed to go out to get money to help the family. She took the last of her savings to pay for a visa, agency and contract to go to Singapore to work abroad. She was so excited to go and then send back some money to help the family. Her only regret was that she was going to leave her boyfriend behind. They are both young, but they had been with each other a long time. She hated to leave him, but they both talked and knew why she had to leave. They both trusted each other and planned to wait until her contract was over in a few years. Once she got to Singapore, she found out her job was a domestic helper. She had a good employer to take care of, and they are a very nice family, and appreciated her ability to do good work. They also had a younger kid for her to take care of, and she loved taking care of the little girl. She felt like a big sister to her. They got along so good and went everywhere together. The family loved the way that she took care of the kid, so it enabled them to relax some and expand their business as well. They got their business to expand into another country. They started their new expansion business in Kuala Lumpur. Since it was a large city and only about one hour plane ride, they decided to expand their business there. They spend many weeks traveling back and forth, getting papers ready, and other things they needed. They spent a lot of time away from their home, but they knew it was in good hands with Regina looking after the young girl and taking care of the house while they were away. Time came that the family wanted to spend more time with their new business in Kuala Lumpur, so they got Regina and the kid a visa to travel to Malaysia, and there she could help them set up and organize the new shop with them. Regina loved the idea of traveling around. She enjoyed the work so much. She kept in contact with her boyfriend in the Philippines, and she got the feeling that he was not being totally honest with her. Later, she found out that he was looking around and spending time with other friends and dating other ladies as well. She felt very deceived. She felt that she wanted to move on at that point. She wanted to let bygones be bygones. As time went on, she traveled back and forth between Kuala Lumpur and Singapore. As more than a year passed, while she was in Malaysia, she met this Malaysian guy, and they became friends. Time came that her contract was running out with this family. She talked to her new friend, and she wanted to start a deeper relationship with him. Adam and her spent time hanging out and doing many things together when they both were not working. He was a successful businessman who had to travel to different areas to help the company he worked for. Regina wanted a better life for her and Adam in the long run. She had heard that getting to Canada was easy for her to do since she had experience taking care of a child. She talked to Adam and told him her plans. She had told him that she was going to apply to go to Canada with the help of her current employer. Once there, she was going to petition him to come there to be with her Adam like that idea so he agreed to the plan. As the time came for Regina to leave, she and Adam spent their last few days together. She promised to him that if he stayed true to her, she would petition him to Canada as soon as she could. Adam looked forward to the time he could leave Malaysia and get to someplace better. He thought that if he was there, he could better his life as well and be with her also. When Regina got to Canada, it was springtime, 
To her, that was the perfect time. To her, it was perfect weather. Her new employer was also nice to her. It was a lady and man that had two kids to take care of. She got to know them, and they got to know her in time. Their kids were only three and four years old. She loved to do things with them. They lived out in the countryside, so they were away from the big city life. Regina loved that. She missed Adam and always thinking about him. They did manage to message each other and do video calls. They found that the distance made their bonds stronger. Both she and Adam had a normal life, but the idea of a long-distance relationship is so hard on a couple. It had been almost two years since they last met Regina has processed papers to get Adam to be with her in Canada, and now the time is getting closer for him to being able to be with her. All his papers are ready, and he is ready as well to go to be with her. As Adam left Kuala Lumpur, Regina was very excited to see and be with him again. Adam himself was a successful businessman, and he too loved to travel around Asia for his work. Adam had gotten his work reassigned by his company so that he could work remotely as much as possible, but he did have to still travel when the time came. Regina knew this and was okay with it all. After all, she thought love would prevail. Finally, they were together, and they were going to start their lives as a couple. She was just released from her nanny job, so that she could stay and live in her new apartment with Adam. They were so happy that she was able to get him to Canada, and that he could still work remotely so that they had the income they needed to survive. Regina is still going to be working as the nanny, but no longer living in the basement. As time passed for them, life was good. She would leave in the morning and take care of the kids as her employers would still leave to go to work and Regina would take care of the kids until they returned home. Adam would work at night since the time difference, but they managed to have a happy and good life. Regina and Adam got married and they started the dream she wanted. Soon she wanted a family and after that she felt she would accomplish her lifelong dreams. She knew that life would not always be easy nor have a smooth, defined path because she knows life always has bumps along the way. Their goal was to save money and have a family. As time grew on, they were able to achieve their goal. They went out to look for a home to call their own. After finding a new place to live, the only downfall was that Regina had to stop her nanny job, but Adam still was able to keep his job. So, they felt okay with the situation they had. Shortly after they moved into the new house, Regina wanted to start her own business. She thought that she wanted to contribute more to the bills they were starting to have. During this time, Adam would travel once a month to Malaysia to fulfill his obligations with his work. He spent late nights on the computer making spreadsheets and reports for work. He was also getting tired of the late nights and the flying back and forth. Regina had a wonderful life that she wanted. She felt she had a good relationship because she was satisfied, respected, and happy. Those were her steps to herself to prove she had the fairy tale relationship she dreamed of. As time passed on, they decided to start the family. Regina was expecting their first kid in the summer. As the time grew near, Adam was always by her side and looking forward to the birth of their child. The time came for her to give birth. They were blessed with a healthy baby girl. She had no time to focus on anything other than her kid and Adam for the first two years. Regina then had the feeling of starting the business. During this time, Adam was still working, but his trips abroad got to be more frequent and longer. Since she was taking care of the child, she was oblivious to her surroundings. She started to have feelings about Adam slowly staying gone longer, and she was starting to think that maybe he wanted to stay away from her and the child. Adam, over time, slowly cut back on supporting the family he had in Canada. He told her that his job was starting to see a turn and was slowing down, so the company wanted to start cutbacks and make changes. With these changes, Adam was unable to provide the support that was needed to keep the family and house as Regina wanted. This made Regina feel insecure now. She felt the pressure of the bills starting to pile up. She was unhappy. These were the first signs to her that her marriage was not as she had planned or expected. Adam came back home, and Regina confronted him about the situation and bills that were stacking up. He told her that he would make it all right soon as he was looking to get more money from the company. As they reorganized the staff they had, 
She felt this would not help the immediate situation, and that is what she wanted to focus on. Adam told her that he was going to pay all the back bills and put food in the house. He was able to pull money out of his savings that she thought was there, but had no evidence. Once Adam paid all the back bills, he told her that the company needed him back in Kuala Lumpur for a meeting to discuss his possible promotion in the company. Adam left to go back to Kuala Lumpur and work there at the company. Regina felt a little better since the bills were brought current. She knew now that she needed to have her own source of income. She worked on getting a stable income for herself and the kid. She decided to rent out some rooms in her house to raise some money to make the bills that would come due soon. She was able to supplement some of the income by getting renters. She knew she still needed to get more money, so she took on a nanny job. This also allowed her to take care of her own kid as well. Over the next few weeks, Adam never called or wrote, or ever came home. Regina's heart sank as she stumbled upon undeniable evidence that she was entangled in a scam relationship with Adam. The person she thought she knew and cared for turned out to be a deceptive stranger with malicious intentions. The discovery left Regina feeling a mix of shock, betrayal, and anger. As she sifted through the evidence, perhaps stumbling upon suspicious messages, financial discrepancies, or deceitful behavior, Regina couldn't ignore the truth any longer. The realization that her emotions had been manipulated and her trust abused weighed heavily on her. In the aftermath, Regina faced the challenging task of untangling herself from this deceitful web. She might confront Adam, seeking explanations and closure, though she knew that dishonest individuals might not be forthcoming with the truth. Regina could also turn to friends and family for support, sharing her experience to help process the emotional toll. As Regina sifted through the incriminating evidence, she discovered that Adam had orchestrated the entire relationship for his own gain. There were messages exchanged with a third party, discussing financial benefits and the need to maintain the illusion of a loving marriage. It became painfully clear that she was nothing more than a pawn in Adam's elaborate scheme. Regina faced a difficult decision, whether to expose Adam's fraudulent actions, potentially facing legal consequences for the both of them, or to quietly end the sham marriage and move on with her life. The revelation left her questioning not only her judgment, but also her ability to trust in matters of the heart. It all started innocently enough Regina, an ambitious woman seeking love and companionship, met Adam through mutual friends. He seemed charming, caring, and genuine. They quickly fell in love, or so she believed. Little did she know Adam had a different agenda altogether. Taking steps to protect herself financially and emotionally, Regina thought about reaching out to law enforcement or legal professionals, especially since she was married. It was crucial for her to prioritize her well-being and seek guidance from those who could assist in disentangling from the situation. In the days that followed, Regina navigated the aftermath of the revelation, seeking support from friends and family. She decided to end the marriage and, with the help of legal counsel, sought to annul the fraudulent union. The experience left Regina scared but wiser, promising to rebuild her life with authenticity and a newfound skepticism towards matters of love and trust. Regina's journey to healing and recovery would undoubtedly take time as she learned to rebuild trust and find strength within herself. The experience, though painful, could serve as a powerful lesson about resilience and the importance of judgment in relationships. Thanks for listening to another podcast of the True Crime Tales. Please come again, and remember, please subscribe.